yourself. You have founded the uh, Initiative for Policy Dialogue in 2001. Um, what was the reason for that? Why, why a think tank? You're working at a university, so why did you need a think tank? Well, uh, it, it grew more out of my experience at the World Bank, where uh, I had seen uh, that uh, the international financial institutions often had a very strong view about what the right uh, policies were. I thought often those policies were wrong. But whether they were right or wrong, to be effective, there had to be domestic discussion. There had to be discussions within the countries and an evaluation uh, in many of the countries. Uh, there wasn't the space the framework for this kind of policy dialogue. Um, people wanted it, uh, but there wasn't the institutional framework. And so that's precisely why I think it's important to have a think tank that is rooted, more rooted in society, even when we're talking about foreign policy. Foreign policy should not be something that's left to an elite. Uh, it, it is something that's important to, to everybody in our, uh, our societies. Uh, what role do you see for Switzerland as a medium-sized, uh, very open economy, very strongly reliant on financial services in the future after the crisis? Where could it position itself? Well, you might say that historically Switzerland has uh, played an important role as a neutral power, but neutral doesn't, shouldn't mean moral neutrality. Uh, it's not as if uh, every position is equally valid. And I think uh, that's the kind of position that it should try to attain, that, that you're, you're not one of the vested parties, but you, you, you bring to the table a, a moral force. But on the other hand, there are areas which traditionally have been problematic, but Switzerland has been moving. Uh, we have to recognize that, that bank secrecy has facilitated tax evasion, avoidance, whatever you word you want to use, uh, around the world. I think one of the positive outcomes of the global financial crisis is the move in the G20 and around the world to limit the scope of these, of this bank secrecy, and, and Switzerland has has joined in that global effort, and there's still there's still a few outliers around the world, and and I think it's important for Switzerland to you know to show you don't have to live off of this secrecy. You can be transparent, open, and and uh, uh, people come to you not because of your lack of sunshine, but because of your competency of your financial services that you provide.